So glad so many of you enjoy the blue plaques that we share here on the show from time to time. And today I wanted to share one with you that really does resonate with so many people, particularly of a certain age, because this particular lady was dubbed Britain's answer to Marilyn Monroe, a million seller who became a millionaire by the time she was in her early 20s, but sadly lost it all. It all really started here behind me at the exclusive Mayfair Hotel. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here. Nice to see you. And as ever, thank you so much for joining me today. This particular hotel back in the day was one of those hotels that really did enjoy, well, a kind of place where you all wanted to be seen, you know? That is because right here, the Mayfair Hotel, in the very heart of Mayfair, was the home of this man, Bert Ambrose. That's right, a band leader extraordinaire. Created many big stars, in fact, Evelyn Lay back in the day, and Sam Brown, who's one of his resident singers here at the hotel. But his biggest find was this particular lady, the very gorgeous, very beautiful Kathy Kirby. Now, Kathy was discovered after she asked to sing with Bert's band, at a dance near her hometown in Ilford, Essex. She proved that she was an excellent singer, not just that, but a brilliant performer and timer too. On top of that, she didn't look too bad either. Of course, under Bert's guidance, she became an international star, one of the very first ladies on the burgeoning BBC TV to host her own series, to great success. This had been done previously with another beauty of the 50s, Alma Cogan was Kathy's superstar style that really put her out there on her own. Hit after hit followed, she even performed alongside such greats as the early Beatles, the Rolling Stones, and represented us in the 1965 Eurovision Song Contest with I Belong. Far different from today's offering of May Muller, as I'm sure you'll agree. Bert Ambrose, you see, was a very controlling manager, literally created the persona of Kathy Kirby. You see shades of those studios Fangalis now, don't you? The bottom line was that she was incredibly talented, but left everything to him, literally everything. In fact, she received pocket money and allegedly, according to her, only realized that she was earning thousands of pounds every week when someone inadvertently told her. Now, the story as ever goes splendidly for the first few years. And the bottom line is Kathy continued to be a huge success, not just here, but around the world, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, sadly never truly making it massive over in the United States. That's simply because, according to a very good source, her manager, Bert, didn't want her to undertake a movie contract. In fact, the superstar Elvis apparently was very keen to include her, or indeed her singing the theme of one of the songs for one of his movies. Makes perfect sense when you think about it. But the bottom line is it all came crashing down in the early 1970s. Sadly for Kathy, Bert suffered a heart attack while up filming in Leeds, West Yorkshire for the Les Dawson show. Sadly for Kathy, she had to go on, but there were more darker times to follow. What resulted really was this. Bert had spent or gambled away most of her fortune, leaving her more or less without any money. I know, nothing new in the world of show business, is there? Sadly for, of course, uh, Kathy, she battled on for many years, not to much more success though. But the bottom line was this, when you think about people, as we often say here on this show, that have entertained us, enthralled us, made our lives a little bit better, isn't it nice from time to time to remember their superstar talent? And when you think it, whether you like Bert Ambrose or not, many people did enjoy his music, his skillful leading of a band right here behind me for many years at the Mayfair Hotel. On top of all of that, we have him to be thankful for creating the superstar that was to become the very beautiful Kathy Kirby, Britain's Marilyn Monroe. If you have the time, do check out her videos online and watch her performances. And as ever, let me know what you think to this particular story in the comments below. Neil Sean in the very heart of Mayfair.